It's exactly two weeks to the final day in the BB Ninja Shine Your Eye Out. And the game is getting to up. It ends. And it ends. And meanwhile, welcome back to another exciting moment on the Buzz BB Ninja recap. As usual, I'm your girl Tubes and I'm Jojo. Now, you know from the very beginning, it's like we already know who the winner is. Mm -hmm. But now it seems like this is going to be a different one. Yeah. Because people are already switching. Switching from who they thought the winner would, would be, be to another person. So what do you think about that? I think BB Ninja has a trend where once people climb on stage, they, the fans already decide, okay, this is who we are rooting for based on the person's um, outing, first outing on stage on the first day. Yeah. But this season, it wasn't quite the case because people were just like skeptical, especially with the fact that the girls came second and guys came first. So people didn't really feel the housemates until later. And it was just one person that stood out, out among all, of yeah, them. all the housemates. So everybody pitched their tents behind this person. And then there was some kind of rivalry between them that made people kind of pity, like, feel pity yeah. for him and <laughs> rooted for him but as the game is now beginning to unravel at, i mean it's a reality show right and people would always be people people's true characters will always it's show actually. it's beginning to feel like okay this isn't who we thought this person is and this is a the camps are getting divided gradually mm -hmm. and the game is getting more intense so it feels like at the end of the day we are in for a shocker yeah on the day of the finale power is about to change air mm -hmm. anyway so yesterday we saw two eviction yes. sasuke and my Yusef. baby is gone and i know if i'm <laughs> speaking for everybody i think we saw it coming i didn't Did want you? to see it coming my baby i mean sasuke is coming yeah sorry dear <laughs> Anyway, so, anyway, but anyway. let's talk about the dynamics of this nomination. I think since the beginning of this show, this was the toughest yes line nomination. Yeah. Yes, we had Yusef, Sasuke, Sasuke Angel, Angel, Cross, and, and Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I mean, even though it's pretty obvious, mm -hmm. at the same time, it's not because you can't. The game is the game, the and game you can't predict. predict yeah. you can't of predict course, it. no one saw Maria going. So if Maria could leave, anyone could leave. Yeah. So, yeah. And then you know, at the end of the show, they didn't show us the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. And later on, we found out that Angel was even amongst the, the top, the bottom, bottom three. three. Yeah. You know, this is someone I that actually we actually. Didn't see that this coming. is someone we actually thought that she had that top five potential. Mm -hmm. And now seeing her there, mm -hmm. what do you think must have gone wrong? I think um, the issue was with. Emmanuel having the Nico Lions, having the Nico Lions behind Emmanuel boosted his um, votes in such a way that Angel's votes kind of dropped. Do you get like more people voted Emmanuel, so alliance. someone had to be the Emmanuel yeah, has alliance, alliance. and then Cross, of course, has organic fans, so yeah, he, he's definitely uh, we all expected. I expected him to be up there. Then, Iman, I thought it was going to be either Cross and Angel or Cross and Sasuke because I love Sasuke, so <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know, um, videos sufficed online from Yusuf's camp, yeah. that the, all of them went. It felt like 2015 again. Yeah, but then... The general election. But then, that is then, just one out of many. There are people that are voting silently. I mean, I was following Sasuke's group. Or, um, yeah, we Sasuke's have to give it up to Sasuke's fans. Yeah. It, Our team did a amazing. good job. Yeah. I mean, the difference between Angel and Sasuke was, was just like very Of course, of course. So... I, they all put in effort. People were registering multiple numbers on Africa Magic website. People were topping their, updating their subscription to get more votes and all of that. So people went all out for their faves this time because the lineup was tough and no one wanted to one, see their faves honestly. out. So regardless of, even Yusef has still had quite a number of votes. Yeah. So regardless of who left or who stayed, they all tried. The teams behind the housemates that were up for eviction this last week really did a good job. So now, let's talk about Nini and Sag. So Saga. this week, um, last week, Big Brother gave the couples a task to prank their partners mm -hmm. and just not talk to them for a few days. Yeah. And then we had the Coros and Imano and Nini, Nini and, Saga. and Saga. You know, Obviously, it's just like 
the 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 Bible story of the Sadi rich man and, and servant. The, yeah, he gave somebody more more. So the other one buried it and said, I don't. I, my father, my, my boss was not like wasting mm-hmm. things. And the other person multiplied, multiplied it. Yeah. So this around <laughs> Biggie gave Saga a task to fight with Nini. And the first night, he felt like he had the yeah, anger of under it. control. Yeah. And then the next day, before he knew it, something and Delilah happened. Oh, well, this is not even a winning Delilah because it's not. Nini, would you say Nini? Um, Nini, you can't even say Nini. I think if he was Nini, he should have done a good job. A good job, yeah. Because when he went to her to tell her that Big Brother, Big Brother said that she pranked you. It's 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 not me. It's not me. It's Big Brother. He said no, that you you're not guessing. He was like <laughs> Nini, please, 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 please. You know I won't do this to you. Please, 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 please. Let me just take this. Please, please, please. <laughs> Come on. When I watched it, I was like, what mm. happened to you? What's wrong with this guy? I'm telling you. And, and then, then you know, to... as soon as you finished saying that thing, Big Brother was like, Saga, this is a microphone infringement. infringement. That should have struck something because... he said, like, oh shit, I, have, I, I don't fuck up. But and no. he goes, so have you had a secondary session? He was like, no. She said, good, good luck. That. What does that tell you? Like, this girl, every time this guy tries to tell this girl that I love you, I don't love you, I am rooting she for you. She mentions her tell, boyfriend. She'll tell you, my boyfriend will be so proud. Oh, my boyfriend. Saga, my boyfriend will be so proud. And then, you know, Big Brother gave them their punishment for not leaving the H.A. lounge mm-hmm. in time. And... Even she he made a statement again. He was like, Oh, we're we the, the first, first couple, couple in the house to serve a punishment. She, and then he goes, No, we are the first, are the people, first people to uh, serve. Good. Come on. It's like it's and every is every opportunity she has she to reminds mention him. her boyfriend. She doesn't miss it. Yeah. Even after she won the Vito power, and he was like, Oh, my boyfriend will be, be so, so proud, proud of me. Of me. Then he Nini said, I'm was proud of you. Was like, yes, yes, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm proud, proud of you. you. <laughs> Come on, guy, what's going on? Saga is absolutely ridiculous, say the least. Because I don't know if this is love, it is obsession at this point. I wouldn't even call it obsession. It, they I don't to... know if it's obsession. I think it's meant. <laughs> it's meant, actually. Because, I mean, so if that task we were giving was dependent on his stay in the house, he would have left. Of would course. you have lost he would it? Have... And, and he has to end a strike. He has two strikes because of these girls. And she. It might not even necessarily Nini... because of her. No, Nini, it's but... because Saga himself doesn't regard Big Brother's yeah. rules. Yeah. He does. He feels that he he says what he what he, whatever he, he likes. He wants to say yeah. You don't. And he feel arrogant about it. I'm I I'm carrying my um, strike with my chest. I mean, what did he say? We are flat. He's two strikes yeah. away from disqualification. A strike. Oh, a strike away yeah. from disqualification. One strike away. If he, and I feel like before the end of the show, if he doesn't leave this week, he would definitely end that strike because well, it's right. very easy for Saga to lose himself. To lose himself. Yeah. He is not once Nini is involved. It feels like the whole whitey Indian hair thing has clouded this guy's judgment. She don't, Nini don't put on for bottom. Ah, we don't know. If we're being honest. It was a freaking tit for tats. Yeah, if we're <laughs> being honest, the revelation, that video shouldn't have, even, Big Brother shouldn't have played it because mm-hmm. obviously other housemen, they talk about themselves. Yeah. But I felt Big Brother felt He came like, under the guise of microphone infringement. Yes, Big Brother but, felt like, nah. You snitch on me, I snitch on you. punished because you don't, even see, not even talking about your saga. We that we know that whatever you say in the diary room is stays between in you the diary room. and Big Brother yeah. stays there. Whatever conversation, I think he, would, he should have even got a strike for that for revealing the content of the yes. diary room discussion, not for the microphone infringement. Of course, it is what a strike too, but that um, re- revelation of the content of the diary room discussion should have given him you a know strike. i think big brother is smart i give it that to him because of course. if we look at it at the end of the day when he wanted to give them their reward for the task even emmanuel benefited from yeah from it felt because, like he took so, emmanuel's yeah, you know it's like, exactly money so and gave i gave it to him and nini also suffered mm-hmm. because of saga, saga so yeah. it's it's balance. a win it's yeah. a balanced situation yeah. so I mean, and looking at Perez, Perez could not even believe it because this is someone, someone he calls he his calls best friend. friend. Yeah. And then, how can you say he's suicidal, he's lonely, and he's a suicidal person? So you're the one that is not lonely. Faga, I don't want to say this, but it feels like he's even more lonely than Perez that has come. You know, you have it, a girl it, by your side that she's way, not there. It's the 
way he says things to ridicule some people with yeah. so much confidence. confidence he feels like he's the it guy in that house actually and we all know what it is and when emmanuel liqueur's i mean liqueur's played a very very Liquorous good is an actress Give good it to her she did it well and i like the the angle at which she came with the fight because mm -hmm. she also one way or the other found out where well, she stands yeah. with Emmanuel. And what's it with Angel and Emmanuel though? Well, we'll get there. We mm -hmm. don't know because and then they had their lunch date. The romantic date. Would you think invited. Emmanuel really likes the girls? I think she, she would find out after the house because that girl, guy, I really cannot see through him. Really. And at the beginning of the game, it felt like he was just playing along. But now he feels invested. But it's a game at the end of the day. So. Well, for me, I think he's aware that whatever he's doing with Liquor Rose is it's working, benefiting him somehow. So he would not want to take the chance to ruin it yeah. and shoot himself in the foot. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what he's doing. But time will tell. And I feel like, well, time, time will tell. tell. And then Big D asked them to invite someone into the executive lounge. Cross he was cross, you know, the previous few people were like, I had you give them chicken. Yes, I, I, want, want, chicken. I want chicken. My boy ate the fucking <laughs> chicken. <laughs> he did to see the excitement on his face. He finally ate chicken. He finally ate chicken. <laughs> he loves chicken and <laughs> great. And he ate chicken. He ate chicken. <laughs> oh my god. It was it was it was exciting to see him yeah. see something he had been longing for. Cross has this inner baby that just makes you want to like him. <laughs> <laughs> like it shows all the time. He has this inner baby. I don't know if he's yeah. aware of the things he does, but it's like when he's in the diary room, he just lets it it's out. It's like, all out. He yeah. loses his guard. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm a baby. You're my big brother. <laughs> You're my and big I can say whatever I want to say to you. And you dare not run me streets. <laughs> And then now let's let's also talk about what transpired between Nini and um Cross. Cross, yeah. What do you think was her fault? I think that was an unfortunate situation that they both let out of hand or out of control. Of course, Cross started it somehow, in my opinion. Cross started it somehow, and the fact that he called her stupid was wrong, but Nini went overboard. You don't say those things to people. I mean, he just called you stupid. Are you stupid? No. So why going on and on? I mean, control your anger. I know you people don't get to choose how other people react when yeah, they are when offended. They but then you should, there should be a little bit of control and empathy because it feels like she has always felt this way about Cross. She has always looked at him as a dumbass. Mm -hmm. And it, she finally got the chance to let it all out, to tell the whole world that this guy is dumb. And she went on and on and on and, and, and on about it. Guy, and he please. even apologized. And he apologized, but he, she, she wasn't didn't having even, it. She I mean, didn't even bat an eyelid. She didn't even. It's, instead, she was like, she, you apologized. To it me. feels like the And then there was something I saw after. Her handler, come on. What did she? What did they Oh, the person was like, "Yeah, I know. As a woman, I'm supposed to allow a guy." Be I mean, me. you know, I'm sorry for not conforming. We women, to this. So I know we women have this, have this attitude that we feel like we are never wrong, or when we are wrong, we don't, we shouldn't be called out because we are women. We go through a lot. Like we victim. play the victim. Come on, life doesn't work that way. Men have feelings too, and I'm not trying to be a pick me eat right now. But then, men have feelings too. You literally rubbish to this guy you not even talk to a baby like that you were provoked yeah but then it was wrong and it has nothing to do with you being a woman at all, at all. At it is all. you it, it is more Nini. of your personality yeah, not, to be, not a woman that doesn't re reflect what women at are all. at all can you say come on because if for anything you know, i think this housemate they don't even understand mental health because yeah. they actually they literally had a passion yeah about men mental health and then you see, you use this person's weakness against him and that's, that's very and initially very i didn't even know that the housemates were aware that um, cross is dyslexic so the fact that she knows that this guy is dyslexic and she it comes at him like that is so unfair and really if there's anything that women should be known for it is the strength of self-control not the other way around you don't mm -hmm. let loose like that and blame it on being a woman no it's not because you're a woman it's because you're a nini mm -hmm. i'm sorry well and if um, i think it's because cross is 
good at it. He's mm. someone that I think he doesn't even know how to bear grudges. That's because he's just a mind. baby. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> he's like a child. Child, children don't know how to hold anger yeah, for too long. For too long. So yeah, but. Let's see how things pan out. I think they are cool now. I think so. They are cool now, so. but and during their diary session, both of them said they feared that they are going to lose the friendship that they always had because of the altercation. So I'm sure they would find their way back to each other's camp somehow, somehow, and become friends again and just bury the hatchet. Well, let's see how that goes. Yeah. So now, I think would you agree with me that now it is pretty obvious who the top five are going to be? Of course it is. So would you have on your list? Um, White Money, Licorus, Angel, Cross, and Perry. Well, for me. that is if the game doesn't happen tonight during the nominations, of course. Okay. Regardless, those are actual top five yeah. candidates. Yeah. So on my list, I have Perry, Licorus, Angel, Cross, and White Money. White Money yeah. And talking about White Money, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think everybody's now seeing him for who he is. Who he is. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. everybody misunderstood Perry. Perry. Of course, it's okay for you to have a strategy. And it's okay for someone to find out your strategy. I think strategy. it was more about the way Perry went about it. Because yes. he was just choosing the villain he, position. Yeah, he shouldn't have taken it as from a... Antagonistic. Um, yeah. He should have just let it be. And tried to one way or the other shake him. Shake his game. Yeah. That is, that's what he should have Pull been. Pull a Murphy AK, AK on not him. Not not like that, he was like he was bullying him, and now oh, Pera is now even people's favorite, of course. Yeah, but what my issue with favorites. white money is the fact that it feels like he understands the game. Well, he feels say, like big brother. People say he understands the game, he has studied, of course, and he's playing it's okay, it. even if you understand the game, keep it to yourself, guy. As he played the oh, best out money. of the game, white but money. instead he's taking the position of small big brother in the house. It feels like he has you, a you are, you are housemate for crying out loud. The fact that you always to want watch. to be on top of every situation. One, the fact that it seems like you want to daddy. You are even the, the content house. creator for them, mm. the production team. Mm. Do you want to leave the house and go and join them? As in, maybe you might tell big brother in exchange with somebody. Yeah, maybe next even he would be a part of the production. And team. the mm. fact that. He is so confident in whatever he says. See, when Ebuka asked him that what did he mean by that, that by Nini being the viewer's favorite, I was <laughs> so happy because that, in fact that question he is long could, overdue. He could not, he could not even make a yeah, reasonable sentence. sentence yeah, yeah, I don't know if everybody saw it this way, but I felt like because white money couldn't give a reasonable sentence, that's why he went for that ask. Queen, yeah, maybe Queen course. understands Understand. him, and they were trying to twist it somehow. It was, um, they said and that, that, because that question Nini is shook him. He went, he to shook the white head of house. White money could explaining. not, he could not even. He went on that. That's the first time I see white money that cool after <laughs> the eviction shoot. He was, he was thinking so much. And you know, he went to Queen to explain to her. I wish Dorothy would have been in the house. She would have given us some sh Shalaya MC kind of vibes. <laughs> so he is so confident. And if he's not careful, he's about to lose his fan base. His, his, no, his yeah, fan base would obviously be there for him. Yeah. But then, you know, he's he had... people's he, hearts. Yes, he had this natural likeness. People had this natural likeness yes. for him the first yeah. time he came into the house. But now people are already seeing him. And even the campaigning that they hope he doesn't win. Okay. So the chance is... Let's see. Well, let's so who do you think will be on the nomination list? All of them should be up, Abeg. Even head of house should be up. Me? <laughs> you know what thing I want? I want Emmanuel and the chorus. Yeah, Saga, Nini and Saga and Nini to be on that list. Yeah. I want because people so I don't know. I want to sharing. see if the Emaros shippers or the chorus fans are going to share their thoughts. They won't they won't try. And I don't think they would want to be yeah, stupid enough won't, to do they that. Won't want to try if that. you do that, your boy the, that guy will have a better chance, chance to than, be in the top five than your girl. Yeah. yeah you don't know the dynamics. Also, the dynamics of this game is yeah. changing. He also has a fan base too. Not like he doesn't have people yes. rooting for him. He also has a fan so, base too. And it's not like he's depending fully on the chorus or the Emaro's ship. So. Yeah. So who, who are your top five housemates? Please share with us in the comments section. Down there. We'd like to hear from you. And so we'll see you guys next week. Keep voting for your favorite. Yeah. And keep the conversation keep going. 
keep watching. Bye. <laughs> ciao, ciao.